Hey, welcome back to Ballistics, everybody. I'm Kurt, and I want to take just a minute to talk a little bit about muzzle velocity. So, muzzle velocity, especially if you're shooting factory ammunition, is usually published on the box. So, for instance, this box of 308 here has a published velocity of 2820. That might be very true out of the test gun that they're shooting. Most are shot with a 24 inch barrel as the test rifle. However, you can see here two barrels. One's a 20 inch and one's a 26 inch. So depending on what you're shooting, that could be a big difference. So the best thing you can do is verify the muzzle velocity out of your rifle with a particular round, whether it's a factory round or whether you're reloading like I do. Now you can use just a standard chronograph like this Caldwell here, or you can use a magneto speed that goes on the end of your barrel like this here. Either one's a great option, and there's some other options out there too. But the biggest thing is, is to verify the muzzle velocity out of your rifle. Let's go into the app real quick. We're going to go in and select uh, 150 grain Hornady bullet, and we've got the published velocity from the factory on that at 2820. However, if you're shooting a little bit slower or a little bit faster, we can change that by clicking here and just back out the numbers that are preset based on the manufacturer, and you can put in the numbers that you're actually shooting. So that's going to get you a lot better data, and it's all about good data. Good data in, good results out down the field on your target, whether that's just target shooting or whether you're out hunting. And get an average too, it's always good to shoot at least 10 rounds. Preferably I like to shoot about 20 rounds and get a really good average. Let the, let the firearm cool down in between those shots so you kind of repl replicate that cold bore shot. Um, which is going to be the case usually when you're out hunting. So anyways, uh, there's our tip for the day. So happy shooting. We'll see you next time.